We were content in the knowledge that the Uganda couldn't possibly be requisitioned because of her lack of range and ability. Because the Uganda had no means of making her own fresh water, uh, we had to rely on bunkering fresh water at every port we called at. Um, and apparently there was a special type of fuel the Uganda used, but uh, that they, they, they find difficult to get hold of. Uh, very sort of low-grade bunker fuel it was. Uh, then we were in Alexandria in Egypt. Uh, we'd sent all the children off to visit the pyramids and uh, whilst they're all away the captain had a, a telegram from the Minister of Defence. Um, he called us all into his cabin, all the senior officers into his cabin and he broke the news to us that Uganda had in fact been requisitioned and the intention was to outfit her as a hospital ship. So we all listened to this in total disbelief uh, and he said that uh, the Minister of Defence would take over all the arrangements, they would sort us out, they knew about our lack of facility for fresh water, uh, but he stressed to keep this quiet from the passengers and he would wait until we were at sea the following day to make the announcement to the passengers because obviously instead of going to Haifa the following day we'd have to go to Naples to discharge the passengers. So it was the following day, which was actually Easter Sunday, uh, instead of heading north to Haifa, Uganda was actually heading west towards Naples and the captain had planned to make the broadcast to the passengers at nine o'clock in the morning after they'd all had the breakfast. However, um, a lot of school children were roaming around the ship and some of them were quite observant and they woke up to find that the sun of course had risen behind the ship instead of on the starboard side and uh, they were consulting their maps and they said, we're not going to Haifa are we? So it was about 8.30 in the morning when he finally broadcast the passengers that Uganda had been requisitioned, uh, it was now under the control of the Ministry of Defence and unfortunately the cruise was going to have to end the following day in Naples. The mood on board was absolutely buoyant. Nobody, nobody had any negative feelings about what was happening. The school children, uh, as you've probably seen in newsreels at the time, they were all leaning out of the porthole singing, singing Rule Britannia as the ship was docking. Uh, they, were, they were thrilled to be part of something that was so uh, novel and exciting. 